Kramer here, marketing product specialist for Atkill Hay Tools in North America. Today, we're going to have a look at Auto Guide 3000 for the WR Series windrowers. We're going to give a very simple, high level overview of Auto Guide 3000. We're going to show you how to set it up and how to engage Auto Guide, make AB lines, and cut some crop out in the field. First off, we'll have a look here at the console. As you can see, we're on the windrower home screen. So, to get our Auto Guide 3000 screen active, we would first have to turn on the Auto Guide switch up on the roof of the windrower. Simply move the rocker from the off, off position up to on. In a few short seconds, you'll see the Auto Guide icon populate, the Auto Guide information start to load on the screen. And then from there, you'll be able to select the Auto Guide icon and bring up the main working screen for the guidance system. One important thing to do when you're setting up guidance on a new machine is establish the vehicle profile. The vehicle profile tells the Auto Guidance system all of the dimensions of the machine in order to give you the most accurate guidance possible. To get to the profile selection screen, you have to be in the advanced mode. In the advanced mode, click the wrench from the home screen and scroll down until you see the little picture of a tractor and that's your vehicle profile setup. Click the tractor icon and here you can select what type of, of machine you want to set up a profile. We'll select a different machine. We'll scroll down until we see a windrower. We'll select windrower and it brings up all of the dimensions for the windrower. Some of these dimensions may not be correct. Verify in your operator's manual for correct vehicle dimensions before continuing past the screen. Once the dimensions are all programmed in, select the check mark and the new profile will be loaded. As you can see now, we're in the basic go mode, if you will, for the auto guide. In this screen, it has a very simple layout. It just gives you critical information such as what source of guidance you're using. As you can see, we have WAS selected. You can see the amount of satellites you're currently viewing, cross-track information, in other words, how, how far from the established wayline you are, and your steering status. This right here tells you whether or not guidance is able to engage. At this point, guidance is unable to engage. It's red, flashing, and X because we've not yet established a way line. For a more advanced operation, we would press the wrench, scroll down to the basic slash advanced mode. From here, we can select it and change to the advanced mode. From the advanced mode, we have a little bit more information, such as speed, path, and current heading, and some more icons over here on the right. As you can see, I have the Auto Guide right now programmed to give me a re-zap button right here that tells the guidance system to snap a line exactly in the direction that I'm facing. I have my nudge right button over here, which moves the established way line over to the right, and I have the nudge left button programmed here on the bottom. This moves the, nut, the way line over to the left. You can change the configuration of these buttons simply by holding the icon on the C1000 for a couple of seconds, and then a selection screen will pop up and give you various different icons to select. The preferred configuration is to have the rezap button here, nudge, nudge right, nudge left. While still in the advanced mode, we'll go ahead and show you how to make a way line. Select the third icon down here on the right, and you'll see the way line start screen come up. From here, we'll select to add a new way line. We'll give the way line a name, check, and now we can select what type of way line we want to make. An A, a straight AB line, a contour line, an A plus heading line, or a pivot. For this exercise, we'll select an AB line. Select AB, select A button to start the way line. From here, 
it's asking us to drive 33 feet in the forward direction before it can establish a way line. Although, the further you drive in a straight direction, the more accurate your line will be. So we'll go ahead and drive straight forward. As you can see, we start to drive, it starts to count how far we've traveled. We've hit a minimum of 33, 33 feet, so now we can make the B point in our line. Select the B icon, and now you can see the way line established on the screen. Right here, in our steering status screen, it's telling us it's unable to engage. As we start to drive forward, the machine's moving. White means the system is ready to engage. Simply click the auto icon. If it turns green, that means the guidance is engaged and the machine is following the line. To exit the line, simply turn the steering wheel and it'll kick out, kick out and you have full control of the machine again. Now, we'll go back to the basic mode and show you how to make a way line in basic. Now we're back to the basic mode main screen. You can see we have less buttons and icons on the monitor. To, to make a way line in basic mode, simply select go. And you it's asking you to make verify that your implement profile is correctly set up. We'll select the check mark. We'll select what type of line we want to establish. Again, we'll do an AB line. And we're back at the same screen we were before where it's asking us to travel a minimum of 33 feet. So we took a look at some of the basic settings and configurations for the AutoGuide 3000 screen. Remember, the AutoGuide makes the Windrower the most efficient machine on the market. It enhances your productivity and reduces fatigue and provides for the best cutoff for your operation. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.